In this video, I will show you the easiest way how you can install Alpine Linux with a full desktop environment. In fact, we will not install anything, we will take a ready-to-use image that already has everything pre-installed that we need. The images are from Postmarket OS. So in this video, we will install Postmarket on a USB drive, we will try it out and also install it on a real PC. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev, or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe, and smash the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. As always, all the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. Postmarket OS is based on Alpine Linux. Alpine Linux is famous for being very lightweight. That's why it is used inside containers and even mobile devices. That's also what it says for Postmarket OS. It is a Linux distribution for mobile devices. Mobile devices usually use ARM architecture and not AMD64 like a desktop PC. So isn't Postmarket OS only for mobile and ARM? Yes, but they also provide images that can run on an AMD64 desktop PC. And those are the ones that we will try out. So let's find those, go to install, and down here, you can see a list of images for all kinds of mobile devices. We are looking for generic x86-64. Here is the link. Here you can choose which desktop environment you want to use. We have console only, GNOME, Fosh, Sway, and SXMO. SXMO and Fosh are desktop environments for mobile devices and are more touch-oriented. Of course, if you want, you can try those out, but I will go with GNOME. I will take the latest. And here is the image. Let's download it. Now let's wait for the download. It has 1.2 gigabytes. Download complete. And here is the image. Let's unpack this one. Extract here. Now let's delete the archive. Postmarket OS is not the only image inside my downloads folder. There is also Ubuntu 24.04 that I used in a previous video. In a previous video, I showed you how you can install Ubuntu 24.04 on a USB drive with the ZFS file system. So if you want to run Ubuntu from a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Now this one is the final image that we need to flash on a USB drive. This is not the live environment. This is the final image with Postmarket OS. Now, before we flash this one on a USB drive, I need to mention that we will need only a single USB drive. And if you want to use Postmarket OS from the USB drive only, then the USB drive should be a more faster one. So the USB drive should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be very slow and you will get really frustrated and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. I'm using one with 128 gigabytes and you can find the referral link down in the description. So with that said, let's flash this one on a USB drive and therefore I will use a tool called Rufus. So this is Rufus, the official website. When I install Linux, I always use this one. So scroll down, here is the link, download complete. Let's open it and this is it. Now plug in the USB drive, I will do it as well. Rufus has recognized the drive. Now let's select the image. Here it is, open, leave everything else on default and start. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have something important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Finished, close, and that's it. The USB drive with Postmarket OS is ready and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive, but if you don't, make sure that secure boot and fast boot are disabled on your machine. You plug in the USB drive or leave it plugged in as in my case. 
then restart the system. And while the system is restarting, you need to press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12. It depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu and inside the menu, select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well. And I'll see you after the reboot. And here it is. This is now full post-market OS running from a USB drive. We also get the GNOME welcome screen. Let's click this away. All right. I will connect to the internet. I'm connected. And now let's open Firefox and post-market OS. And again, install. If you're wondering how I logged in, then here on the install site, you can see the default username and password. And this user is added to all images, including generic. Now let's see what we have here. I will open the terminal and let's do apk add neofetch. Now, as you can see, PostMarket OS is getting the official Alpine packages, which is what we want, the official Alpine Linux. So let's install NeoFetch. Yes. And let's run it. NeoFetch run. So we are running the kernel 6.6. .6. The desktop environment is GNOME 46.1. And we are using about one gigabyte of RAM. So you can take this USB drive to basically any machine you want, plug it in and boot into post-market OS. But you can also use the same USB drive and install post-market on your PC. Now let's see how that works. Once you're logged in to post-market, or basically any Linux distro, it doesn't have to be post-market, we will need to download the image again, unfortunately, but it is how it is. So let's find the image. Again, post-market, install, generic, choose your desktop environment. This time I will go with Bosch, because why not? Latest image and download. Download complete. We don't need this one anymore. Let's open the terminal. Now let's run lsplk. Find the drive where you want to install post-market OS. In my case, SDA is the USB drive, and this one is the drive on my PC. Once we know that, write xzcat, the path to the image that I just downloaded. And now let's pipe that to dd command of equals mmcblk1. And we actually want this to execute with sudo, otherwise it won't work. Now, before we execute that, I need to mention that this will delete everything from your drive. If this is the only drive on your machine, then basically everything from your machine will be deleted. So if you have something important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue and execute. Now this can take some time. And that's it, finished. Now we need to reboot the machine and boot into PostMarket. The USB drive can stay as it is. You can still use it and boot into PostMarket, but we don't need it anymore. Now let's reboot the machine and boot into PostMarket, this time with the Fosh environment. And this is it. Postmarket OS with the Fosh environment. Let's click this away. So it looks a lot like GNOME, but this one is made for mobile. Let's go dark. If you have a touch screen, then this one also supports gestures or from bottom up. All right. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. Alpine Linux is perfect if you want to speed up your system, but if you want even more speed, then you can use a RAM disk. In a previous video, I showed you how you can create, use and benchmark a RAM disk on Linux. So if you want to speed up your system using a RAM disk or you just want to see the benchmarking, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description.
And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, down there is a super thanks. So you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.